Uh, folks, I feel like sometimes in order to talk to the left that you got to put things in terms that they can understand. So a little while ago, this whole controversy started about what they were calling the don't say gay bill in Florida. And as you and I well know, it wasn't a don't say gay bill, but that was the hook upon which the left hung its hat. And the virtue signaling response, of course, was for some of them to shout gay, 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 gay from their various platforms like the Oscars and whatever. And you got to be careful with all that crap. I mean, if you say gay three times in a mirror, Tom Cruise shows up, hops up on an Apple box and kicks your ass. But hey, if you can't beat them, join them in their ridiculousness. Now, let me just clear my lungs and uh, offer a rejoinder in kind. Oh, and for Joe Biden and the rest of you stupid people, in kind means to do the same thing. So here we go. Groomer, 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 groomer. You know what? That actually does kind of feel pretty good. Uh, maybe we're on to something. I know the left doesn't like it when we use that word, but I promise you that's the only reason. That's, it's just part of the reason, really, that I'm going to continue to use it. So take a little mental bus trip with me to the state of Ohio, where a substitute teacher was fired the other day for handing out pride bracelets to kids in his classes and explaining what they mean. Chris, let's take a look at this guy. There he is, Jay Bowman. He looks like Woody Harrelson in the Hunger Games. So this dude, who is himself gay, obviously, was just minding his business, no doubt teaching, reading, writing, and arithmetic to the students with whose learning he was charged, when all of a sudden they asked him about a bracelet he was wearing. Now, had he just answered the question and told them it was a pride bracelet and then moved on, he might have kept his job. I wasn't there, so I don't know. I don't have a clue what the situation would have looked like. However, that's not where he stopped. This we know. Instead, he he just decided to go all Oprah on him. You get a bracelet, you get a bracelet, you get a bracelet. And wonder of wonders and miracle of miracles, the school board's policies restrict staff from discussing their political, religious, and personal beliefs with students. And so our man, uh, you know, Jay Bowman here was terminated, let go, set free to blow wherever the wind takes him okay now you might look at this and think that the judgment of the school board was a little harsh why not issue a warning first why why go straight to firing and the honest answer is i don't know because again i wasn't there and i don't know this guy's history it could be that a warning would have been sufficient or it could be that this guy's the type who caused trouble in the system before I don't know. But here's what I do know. We're in the middle of an ideological war with the left for the hearts, minds, and souls of our kids. There will be collateral damage along the way. This Jay Bowman claims that he absolutely was not trying to groom children into his lifestyle. If he's telling the truth, then that's unfortunate. If he's not, well, he's part of the bigger problem that we're dealing with right now. There's far too much on the line at this point. And listen, if every time I've said on this show that you should get your kids out of school, you thought I was overreacting, let me ask you this. When is it going to be too much? What's the line for you? What's the last straw? And if you wait until we get to that point, well, I think you've probably waited too late. You know, people keep coming at me And they post on social media, they say, you keep coming against teachers. I am not against teachers. I'm going to say it until I'm blue in the face. I'm fighting for teachers. Fighting against the school system. But when I come out and people say, well, where are you seeing this stuff that's going on? There's another example right there in Ohio. You know, you can do a quick little search. Get on Google, DuckDuckGo, whatever it is you choose to use. And you can post the issue at hand that we're talking about, whether it's a pride bracelet or whatever that may be, or chasing Buttigieg and the pride pledge, and, and then just say, okay, school. Or, or you could say, um, you know, pride parade, Austin, Texas. It'll pull up all the links. 